Have you ever wanted to create an ebook, but the process was just too confusing, too much money, and too much time? In this inspirational tutorial, I will show you how to use Scribble to create a professional looking ebook in a short period of time with no talent or experience. Full disclosure, I am an affiliate for this software. My link to the program is in the notes below. This is the Scribble homepage at scribble.com. To log into Scribble, what you're going to have to do is go all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on Get Instant Access to Scribble Now. This is the homepage once you log in to Scribble. We can see on the left different types of Scribble products. And we can see the one that is in black is the one that we have installed, and that is the standard Scribble. The one below it is the professional version. So how do we get started? We now move up. There's two different ways. We can click on Start Scribbling, or we can go up to where it says Projects at the top. Click on Projects, and this will take you to a page where you can see your past projects. Here's two projects I was practicing with before doing this tutorial. And what we want to do is to go over and create a new project so we're going to click on New Project. We are now brought onto a page that has a number of templates. And based on what program you're on, depends on how many templates you have. If you have the Pro version, you have a lot, a lot of templates. And if you have uh, the regular version, you have quite a few templates, but not as many as the Pro version. We can see at the top we have a category list. It breaks down categories like Art and fiction, games, and that will make it a little easier finding the specific type of template that you might want. You can also type in a search for a specific template. All the templates are very professionally made, and we're now going to look for the template that we're going to use. And we're going to scroll down to the bottom down here a little bit further and we're going to use this template right here. Now you can view the template to see what it looks like. And here we can go through each page of the template. Table contents, text, text, and at the very end, thank you for coming. We'll click close on that. We're going to go back and at the bottom you can see it says use. We're going to click on use. First thing we're asked is to enter a name for our template. And we're going to call our template or our ebook Creativity. And we're going to click on Create Your Ebook. Let's now customize this template to fit our needs. If you notice, the text has little blocks. So the art text, the inspiration, the authors are all in blocks. If you're familiar with HTML, you can kind of recognize this use of blocks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this front page to, rather than say the art of inspiration, to say creativity. And I'm going to make a bold step here first, is I'm going to, first of all, let me increase the size of this by doing control plus plus. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the first block. And how you can do that is go over to the garbage can over here and click on it. And say, yes, I'm sure to get rid of it. And we have the second block. Now, we don't want to get rid of all our blocks all at once because we're going to add a block. And if you get rid of all the blocks, you have no way of adding a block. So we want to go down here to the plus. This allows us to add a new element. Remember, we told you about elements. So this will I'll add a new element. We click on that. And these are the different kinds of elements we can add. Held headline, single image, paragraph, text block, dividers image uh, features, buttons, all kinds of things. What we want is a single image. And we're going to click on it, and now we have our block for the single image. We're going to move that up, and now we're going to add our item to that block. We do that by going over to where you see this little gear, and that's the Element Advanced Settings. And remember, we had settings up here. This is an example of how that's used. We're going to open up settings. And this tells us about all the information about the image block that we opened. 
thing we want to do is add an image. So we're going to go to where the plus sign is. And it's going to allow us to add an image. I already had these brought in. So we're going to click on Creativity. And the create word creativity is a little small, so we're going to go over and increase the size. I already played around with this and know that it's going to be 550. So I'm going to go over, add 550, hit return. And now our creativity is a little bit larger. Now we can get rid of this second block by clicking on the garbage can. Yes, we want to get rid of it. And now we're going to bring down our image about where we want to center it. How do we know how to center it? We can go up here to grids. We want wide grids. And we can see we're halfway in the middle of that block, a little less on this one to center. it. We're just going to bring it over right about there. And we might even center it right here. Let's go right here. OK. Our next step is the author, and we're going to change that by just dragging it across. We're going to change it to the name of Jerry. And click off of it, and now we have Jerry. Okay, so that's our first page. That's what it looks like. Let's turn off the grids, because we don't need them right now. We're going to go to the second page, which is the table of contents. And we're not going to add anything yet until we do the first page. And the first page is the only thing we're going to do in this document, page one. So we're going to scroll down to page one. And we can tell that it has the uh, lorem ipsum type. And we want to put our type where this type is located. Now I'm getting my content from a previous speech I gave a number of years ago on creativity. And so that is in a Word document, and I'm going to drag that over. And you can see here's the Word document with my text from that speech. And I'm going to lay it on top, and I'm going to come down here. And the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and go preparation. We're going to go down about that far. We're going to copy that text, left click copy. I'm going to move that document to the back. We're going to come up here and we're going to select all of our text. They did a good job there. And now we're going to do paste. Now be careful. If you just paste, it's going to paste the color of your document you're pasting from. So if your document, if this page were was had a black background or a green background, and we paste it on it, it would paste the text on a white background on top of our existing background. We don't want that. So we want to use paste as plain text. We do that. Here's our text, our document. So we have preparation. And we have our little statement here. Now, if we want to clean this up a little bit, we can go up here to the preparation and we can bold it. And if we wanted to, we could actually go over to the uh, wrench and we increase the font size. Right now it's 16. We might want to go up to 18. Hit return. And now we have preparation and we have our text. We can also, by the way, change the type of text that we have. Right now, they're using Google Fonts and it's Sensil. We could change it to another font. But to save time, we're not going to do that right now. I'm just giving you some examples. So if you notice, we already have a title. We have English Landscape up here. And yet we have Preparation here. What we can do is we can take this. We'll eliminate it or we'll copy it or let's cut it. We'll cut it and we'll bring the other text up a little bit further. And now we're going to come up to the top up here and we're going to paste in our text that we had. Preparation. There we go. And we're going to remove the colons. And we might also want to still bold it. There you go. Preparation. 
and we can move this up a little bit higher. We do that by coming over here and selecting underneath the crossbars. That allows us to move it up. If we want to line this up better, we could just use our grids again. Okay, so there's our first part of text on page one. Let's go and do another piece. So we're back at our Word document with our text. And the next thing we want to do is select the next one, which is right here. And we're going to come and select that. And we're going to put it back in the background again. Come back up here, select our text on the second paragraph or section. And I didn't want to do that. Let me do a control Z. I want to, I did a control paste and it would have put the background in. I got to go up and put paste as text. Okay, now it looks better. And we have. Up here we have preparation, by the way, we're going to change this part right here to a bold first. We're going to come down here, we're going to change this one to second. Oop. Let me get the whole word. And now we're on second. And we have our little bullets here for our bulleted text. So there's our second section. So we have the first section and second section. Now we come over here and we see we have blocks of text. This is often what you see in magazines where they put additional information, little uh, quotes, uh, photographs that pertain to your particular article. And we're going to change these right now. So we're back again to our content and we're going to take this part right here and we're going to select it and do a control C. We're going to go back to our document and I think what I'm going to do is put that well we'll put it up here. So I'm going to take this and select all this text and I'm going to paste it paste plain text and we sit right here and then we're going to come back down uh, I'm going to come back down here to this one and we're going to a couple things we can do let's see in the plaque da, 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 da. okay what we're going to do is we're going to bold that we're going to make it italic Okay, so there we go. Now let's replace these particular pictures. We want our own pictures, so we're going to go back up here to the wrench or to the gear and where it says Element Advanced Settings. We're going to go in here and we're going to add the picture. First picture I'm going to add is this one right here. And if we see, it's too large. So we have to go over to back over to the left and resize it. Now I already looked at it before and I resized it about 210. And that brought it down to the proper size. And we can also line it up. So it lines up on the text. And we come down to the other one, do the same thing. Come over here to the gear. We can add the second item. And once again, we're going to try to make it about 220. And now we have that in place. We can also have, we have room down here. We can also add some more text. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and do a paragraph text block. And we can see uh, where it brought it up here. Uh, I don't see it there. Oh, I see it right here. We're going to bring it over to the side. Well, let's, uh, let's move it here. Kind of 
kind of in the way. So that's in, in the way it's hard to move. I'm going to take this and move it down right here. And then I'm going to be able to move this block. If we go back up here, we can see that this particular text block is approximately the width of 221. And that's what we want this one to be is the same text block. And so we're going to come over here and the width we're going to go 221 and now we're going to move it over to the side and take this block here move it back up and adjust this and now we're going to add our text and go back to our document what we're going to do is we're going to go scroll up towards the top of our article and we have this 1926 Graham Wallace published published and we're going to select all that and we're going to go control C we're going to put in the background again we're going to come back over here we're going to do a paste the plain text and now we have this part in here and let me uh, move it up just a hair. Maybe try to line it up with this. Move this one up just a little bit more. So in a very short period of time, we're able to bring in our content, pictures, and all the things we needed for our very first page in this ebook called Creativity. Now, if you notice the title of our first page is Preparation. So we're now going to go up to the first page area, select the text. Didn't do a good job there. Select the text and we're going to type in uh, preparation. And so that is our first page. So we have our first page, creativity. Our second page, preparation, page one. And there's page one. You can now generate your ebook, publish your ebook, save your ebook, or exit. And the best thing is to save and exit. This is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching, and please hit the subscribe button. Watch for my next video about more in depth training on using Scribble to create ebooks. If you'd like to try using Scribble, click on the link below.